Greetings, everyone. My name is Ty Minkler, Director of Finance and Accounting for CSL. Um, happy to be presenting today some highlights on uh, finance and accounting situation. And I want to thank Tony for his overview. I want to add a few points to um, his overview that I think are important to um, identify. Uh, one is that the um, loss of $340,000 in 2023 included some depreciation, in fact, included a lot of depreciation. And, and depreciation is just the accounting treatment of the use of a building and it's not cash. So we actually lost $38,000 cash last year, uh, not $340,000. And of course, that's still not good. We want to do better than that. And to that point, we have about $80,000 in transition costs related to the turnover in finance and accounting in 2023 alone um, that won't be repeated again. So um, we can expect $80,000 uh, improvement right there um, in 2024. And then, and of course, as, as you all know, we do want to sell the building and uh, that will free up about $190,000 of costs as soon as we do that uh, on an annual basis. So um, uh, not saying anything you all don't already know, but uh, keeping things simple can save money. And uh, we've had a bit of a complex accounting system. Um, we've reduced the, the number of codes, counting codes from 490 to about 150 and a number of apartment, a number of departments to um, eight from 15. And anytime you do that, you're saving money, you're saving time, uh, complexity, uh, questions back and forth about where things go, what to code uh, to um, uh, which department. And, and so that's a good thing. Um, we're also reducing the number of bank accounts from 12 to, to hopefully five soon. And that's going to save some time and money. And then we're leveraging modern systems to, um, to automate processes as of course uh, any, any modern company does such as uh, with invoicing or bank reconciliation and that saves time and money. I mean, we saved hours just last month reconciling with our new system, uh, several bank accounts and you multiply that by 12, 12 months. That's, that's thousands of dollars saved right there. So um, uh, I wanna you know step back a little bit and talk about the department itself. Um, and uh, and declare our mission. It's 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 an obvious mission. It's a mission that probably every accounting department has uh, in in the country. But it's important to state it for the record. And and one of the top priorities is to make sure we have clear and account a clear and accurate accounting records. Uh, that, that's pretty obvious. Um, also, um, cost effective processing of funds uh, so that it's um, the minimum amount of money spent processing those funds. And uh, we want to have safe and secure money management, of course, and of course, uh, helpful budgeting and forecasting tools. So those are basic, uh, but it's important to state them for the record so that you all know those are what we hold ourselves to. <clears throat> and as you know, um, I am the fifth director uh, since uh, 2021. And um, uh, as, you, as you might imagine, uh, having that much turnover in a short amount of time means there's probably some gaps in our processes and, and um, knowledge. There wasn't a lot of knowledge passed to me from prior directors. Um, and um, we don't have a lot of records of, of processes. So it's sort of been a learning as you go uh, experience this past year uh, and a bit uh, chaotic, I will confess, uh, but we're gonna fix that. And I've hired some new professional staff to support new systems and processes. And and we have moved to a virtual operation, uh, which, which uh, helps us support um, uh, our, our remote working and, of course, lowers cost. And we began uh, streamlining processes and documenting the procedures, which, which were um, sorely lacking. So we've accomplished a lot in 2023, I'm, I'm proud to say. Uh, one of the little things we did was uh, completed our um, Committed Giving 2022 commitments. It sounds like a, a little thing, but it's actually pretty complex, moving money internationally. And uh, I need to, you know, make sure everyone appreciates that it's not just me doing that, but there's a lot of people helping me with these uh, FNA accomplishments. Um, uh, it, it takes a team. It's it's a, it's a it's a lot of um, a lot of help from a lot of people. Uh, we caught up on accounts payable this year. We've been behind for months, uh, behind in months uh, in payables, and and for most of the year, finally got that caught up. Uh, we caught up on entries to Salesforce uh, in January. It's, we've been behind uh, badly all year. And, and my commitment to you all is to make sure we stay 
uh, up to date in Salesforce where we record our uh, community giving, of course, and uh, and that's a priority for us going forward. Um, we set up a bank lockbox, which is just a way for us to um, have uh, the checks go to directly to a box to to a, a, a PO box that the bank deposits for us, and that saves us from having to have a person actually be physically there to take checks in and and write the deposit slips and and take them to the bank. Um, we also set up uh, an online uh, system for the bill paying going the other way for we, we don't need to have a person in a building actually writing checks now. We can do that online and, and get it approved uh, remotely. Um, so all of this helps us save money and, and time um, as we don't need to be in the building. Um, we, we've done this some uh, as part of this going virtual move to a different accounting system, uh, saving $20,000 a year. And as I said, hired new uh, professionals to support all of this, uh, which will also help us have some cross training and uh, support vacation and sick time, um, so that we're not and so that we're not dependent on just one person um, as we have been. Uh, we've switched to a new payroll system, which will save thirty five thousand dollars a year, and is much uh, much more effective. Uh, and we we are consolidating merchant accounts and saving in in um, in that way probably about $30,000, $35,000 a year. And then last but not least, we created a draft budget for 2024. We didn't have a budget in 2023. Um, and that's uh, obviously not a good way to manage a business. So we have moved successfully to a virtual operation. <clears throat> and we've done this while catching up on a lot of tasks, hiring new employees, and learning about all of the many activities of CSL and introducing some money saving improvements so I'm, I'm proud of that success in 2023 and yeah there is a lot yet to do so i want to make sure that um, you all appreciate that i'm aware that we need to continue improving uh, specifically making sure we have timely and accurate reports for the executive director and the directors which uh, was um, very um, uh, was missing in 2023 for the most part and the same for the finance committee. They've been very patient with me, but we need to get them the reports monthly and on um, and accurate. Uh, we need to make sure vendors and contractors are paid timely. That was a problem in 2023. It's not now and shouldn't be going forward. Deposits from the CSL communities need to be recorded uh, in, in Salesforce uh, and, and hopefully now all caught up and, and uh, going forward will be done on time and, and just perfectly. We need to also improve our payable system for international partners because our, our current system isn't very good for international partners. So that's a problem we need to work on and see if we can fix. Uh, we're going to improve our, uh, our receivable system to, to enable more efficient tracking. And um, as I said, uh, cross training for the department and, and document processes and procedures uh, as, we, as we develop new and improve the old. So that's a quick overview for the finance and accounting department, a lot of good news. Uh, a lot of progress, still a lot more to go. And I'm so grateful to all of you for your support. If you have any questions or want to contact me, please don't hesitate. Thank you.